Hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Lisa, Chef Wannabe. Welcome, welcome, welcome to me camping yet again. Okay, so today the goal is to set up the stove that belongs in this hot tent. And I, the box is still closed up. I have no idea if there are instructions inside. I really hope so. I super, super hope so because if there are not, then that's going to be a huge struggle, right? And I'm already going to be struggling enough as it is. Anyway, you guys. I had to get a little bit of courage in order to do this. It's raining. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's beautiful outside though. I love the rain, you guys. It's been raining for like four days now or something. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, anyway, um... So you guys know that I watch Matthew Poza. He is my my camping hero. I love watching him and I love watching his little Monty pooch. And uh, you know, it's just so sweet. Anyways, I just recently started watching Steve Wallace. You guys, this sweater is a sweater exactly like what Steve Wallace wears. Hi, Steve Wallace. Listen, this belonged to my dad, you guys. My dad is gone now, God love him, but I kept his sweater, you guys. He wore this up until almost the day that he passed away and I just couldn't let it go. It's now it's mine and I am going to be wearing it for camping when I need to be warmer than what I should be. So the inside of it, look at this you guys, it's like it's like a fleece liner in there. It's freaking wonderful. No wonder Steve Wallace wears it all the time, eh? Yeah. But anyway, this is great. And I thought, wow, what a coincidence. Here I am watching Steve Wallace. He's got dad's sweater on. What? So anyway, um, I really love watching Steve Wallace now also because when he does his videos and he doesn't give a shit, you guys, he will light a fire any way he can light a fire. I mean, I have yet to see one where he uses Doritos, but I don't doubt that he has used Doritos to light his fire. So I've, I've seen him use like a torch. I've seen him t use like a a barbecue, uh, flame thrower, something, I don't know, but all kinds of stuff, you guys. He does not give a crap and squirting like the, what is it, the camping fuel on there. I just saw him use some hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh my God, I like laugh. Just looking at it laughing and laughing. It's so funny. But anyway, you guys, um, watching him today, uh, he gave me the courage to get in here and get this, get this stove set up. Um, I hope I'm going to also... I hope that I'm going to be determined enough to also light the fire, but you guys, it's been raining so much and everything I have is wet. So I doubt very much I'm going to be able to do the fire today. But if I do, I'm going to add it to this video. So don't even worry, you guys. I'm going to I'm going to get the fire going. I'm going to have something to eat, and I might even do um, what is it called an MRE meal. Get maybe even get hubby in here because the MRE meals usually have coffee, and I don't drink coffee, so I don't want it to go to waste. So I'll boil some water and stuff like that, and hubby can have some of the coffee. And we'll share a meal and whatever. Anyways, we'll figure it out. And I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe that the MRE, my very, well, it's not actually my first MRE, you guys. I'll tell you, that's a story. There's a video on my first MRE. Anyway, this one here, um, I do believe it's from Kazakhstan or someplace like that. Yeah, so it's going to be really interesting. I have no idea what food to expect. Anyway, the very first boxed MRE that I had, you guys, I opened it. I was, I was like, it, I was being so patient. It was actually an, uh, ASMR video. It was just real quiet, just opening the box and everything like that, you know, and kind of really excited and couldn't wait to open it up. You guys, it was empty. <laughs> the box was empty. Oh my God. Yes. Mm. Man, that Carlo Rossi red is good. California red, you guys. You know, I, so anyway, when I was watching Steve Wallace and he was saying, uh, he was giving appreciation and thanks to everybody who was supporting his beer fund. And I think I should start supporting my Carlo Rossi fund. What do you guys think of that? I think I should. I think I should. <laughs> I actually, a while ago, actually, I started a, what is it called? A, okay, I remember. It's Patreon page. You guys, I started a Patreon page because I thought, you know, once I retire or something like that, and I don't know how things are going to go, but if I continue on with these camping videos and cooking videos and stuff like that, you guys, I'm probably going to need some help financially. Um, maybe just a little bit, like not nothing severe, but like maybe like two bucks or something a month or five bucks a month or something like that just to help me out. I wouldn't mind buying different kinds of camping gear and stuff like that down the road. I would really hope that I can afford to buy a, um, an actual proper camera. You guys, I am no good with cameras. I am no good, you guys. I, I've bought like three or four cameras now and I just can't figure them out. They stress me out so bad. You know, I just want to buy a camera where you can just like hit record and it records and and I don't need to mess with settings and stuff like that and and all that and and just plug it into my computer and transfer the things from my my camera onto my computer it just, to me it just seems like everything is just so complicated I just want simple simple easy breezy stuff that's all I want that's that's it I just want easy breezy Ugh. 
So, are you guys excited about this stove? I am sure excited about this stove. La 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 la. <laughs> oh, and you know what else I'm excited about? That I took this down from the ceiling. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, um, I have the box right here. The, the Oh, so if you guys are wondering, what am I recording on? What? What? If she doesn't have a camera, what is she recording on? You guys, I am recording all the time, all the time on my old iPhone 6S. Yes, my old iPhone 6S. Right now I have, I think it's a 10XR something. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, and uh, this puppy has yet to let me down. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. iPhone 6S, beautiful, perfect. Yep. <laughs> and if you guys want to know what I use for my editing, it is Filmora Pro. Um, I actually just uh, I just downloaded something else around Fil Filmora. What is it called? Fil Filmora GoPro or something like that? I can't remember. But I, no, this is actually what I use is Filmora 9. So yeah, Filmora GoPro or Fil Filmora Go... I don't know. Anyway, there's something new came out. Something new. There is a Filmora app for phones and stuff like that that I can edit on my phone, and I've done that before. But I find that um, it is just not not as good quality, and sometimes the sound is off by just like a split second, just so that you know that it's not exactly the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. But anyway, um, I hope they fix that, because I really want to be able to do that on the fly, and then if I go to like Starbucks or Tim Hortons or something like that, I can just download it, you know, and not have to wait and wait and wait. Yeah. But anyway, how about we get the show on the road? I gotta move my my beautiful, beautiful, warm, cozy sleeping bag out of the way, along with my husband's beautiful, beautiful um, what's it called? Memory foam sleeping bag, along with my awesome, awesome pad. I'm gonna just move everything over, including my big ass, over this way. Wait, I better be careful because I got my pajamas. <laughs> yes, I got my pajama bottoms on. You guys, I was watching. So I was, <laughs> I was watching Steve Wallace the other day, and I'm looking. And he's got camel pants on, and I thought, are those pajamas? Those look like pajamas, because you know you can tell by the material. It's not like stiff like jeans. It was kind of like flowy and stuff like that. And sure enough, he walked up. He stood up, walked away from the camera, and I could see the big band, the stretchy band across the top of his pants. And I'm like, oh, he does have pajamas on. So cute. But anyway, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Okay, so now I gotta set you guys up. I gotta get this open. Do I have a knife? Let's see. Do I, you know what? I do have. <laughs> yep. I have my Kulina knife, you guys. Oh, look at this sucker. Look at that. Oh my God, it's huge, eh? <laughs> okay, anyway, I will open this sucker. Try not to damage too much with this beautiful sharp knife. All right. Try not to pop my mattress and pad or whatever that thing is called. Oh, that rain, hey? Oh my gosh. Okay. Lots of, lots of padding. I'll just get up here. Ooh. Oh, what's this? <gasps> is this a carbon monoxide detector, you guys? I was going to tell you that I still haven't got one. Oh man, this like this is so thoughtful. Is it? Is it? Oh, I should have brought my glasses. Crap, 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 crap on a Triscuit. Let's see. I hope I can read. Oh, it's really small writing. Ooh. Small writing and in Russian. I do not know what it is saying. What are you saying? I do not know. I do not know. Here, can you guys read it? <laughs> I do not know. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside and uh, 100% power something something. Okay, you guys, I will worry about that definitely when I get a fire going. Look what else is in here, you guys. Work gloves, friggin' stinking leather work gloves, you guys. Oh, I am so impressed right now. Holy balls. This is just great. Let's see. Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> there's a hole in the thumb. Well, shit. Shit. Okay, these must have been made real fast or something. They missed that. It almost looks like it's. I don't know. I was gonna say burnt, but anyway, these are the gloves they sent me. Oh, I better. I better put the cover on the knife, eh? Or I'm gonna need a first aid kit. 
I just I just also watched another video uh, Steve Wallace when he was using his axe and he sliced his finger that wasn't good and he didn't have a first aid kit poor guy okay what else let's see hey uh, okay uh, let's see There's a bag for something here. This here. Okay. Things. There are things. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh. This sucker is heavy. That's a heavy mofo. There. Oh. Okay, so. It'll have to sit that way. Look at that. Okay, so um, I really hope somewhere there are pipes that are going to go up to the ceiling. Remember you guys, I said I didn't know if I had the pipes too and stuff? Well, um, at this point, I do not see any pipes. You guys, there are no pipes. There are no pipes. There's the empty box. No pipes. So, I really hope that I can find some pipes. Hmm. Does that mean that I have a bunch of pipes in the house somewhere? I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, anyway, here is, <coughs> excuse me, the bay. Berger ecat.ru. Remember you guys, I was telling you the name of the tent. So this here is to hold the stove. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I got to figure this all out. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Well, shit. You know, that also means there are no legs on here. So hopefully there are legs with the pipes. I do not know. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys already see in there? Look at that. Man, oh, it's a good thing I looked, you guys. I would have been so embarrassed. Oh my god, I'm kind of embarrassed right now. Am I turning red? <gasps> Balls. <laughs> okay. And you guys, as per usual, um, let's see. Let's look for some instructions, hey? Do you guys think that I'm going to be able to find some English instructions? There are two books here. Let's see. Um, okay, let's try this one. Oh, oh, I see English. This one. I do not see English. You're gone. Okay, let's put this all back. Get rid of this stuff here. Oh, 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 don't hurt the stove. You know, there's not even a fire in here right now and I'm starting to get overheated. How <laughs> because I'm so excited, right? That's a lot of popping material. Oh. <laughs> this sweater is so warm, super warm. I'm gonna have to get another pair of gloves, you guys, because that, that thumb is just not gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it. This here is the very lid, I think, the top of the stove thingy outside. Well, look at this. Hello. Hello. Look at how much I've accomplished. It's got legs. Oh my God, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so now, this is what the legs are in. And now, so according to, who was it? I think it was Matthew. He said that these guys here, they go on the, nope. I guess they go that way. They have to, because they don't fit the other way. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy. 
This is so cool. Okay, now I gotta figure out about getting it out through the hole that's up there. Okay, so. So, there's an actual hole, hello, there's an actual hole on the outside up there. So I've, I'm going to have to go outside and put a couple of these together, perhaps, perhaps, hold on. instructions is just great isn't it it's just great so really I I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with this I'm gonna to have to look at somebody else's video because it does not fit it does not fit so you guys when I am camping this is supposed to I I assume because there's no instructions I can't find any um, that goes on there somehow and stuff and then when I'm not using it that goes on there I don't know I don't know but anyway, that is it for now, you guys. I have to wait until there is no rain and I have dry wood and stuff like that so that I can start a fire. Hi, you guys, I'm back. So what happened was I brought the wrong piece out. So um, I brought this piece with me when I went outside. This one here, it actually belongs right to the stove itself for putting the wood in and for, letting, you know, for doing that stuff there. Um, I should have brought this one. I forgot that I had this one here. This is the one that's supposed to go inside, you guys. So it'll go on top like that. And then there's a little cover there, so that'll stop the rain for, or whatever from going in. What a great idea though, hey? I can't believe I screwed that up. But anyways, life goes on. I am so looking forward to cooking. I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna grab some wood, I'm gonna bring it into the house, and I'm gonna make sure that it, it's dry. Hey guys, one more thing before I go. Um, so I did get this here, it's a fire blanket. It is for the floor, for when I do have a fire going and stuff to protect the floor so I don't get any sparks or holes or whatever put into to the floor of the tent. It is a fire blanket and uh, it is basically made of like uh, insulation. Yeah, there we go. Cheers you guys, take care, see you later, bye. Wah!